morning everyone my name is uh, Nicholas and I am your teacher today this is how you spell my name if you can say after me I will go over the letters here uh, N N I I K K L L A A S S very good and Nicholas can everyone try and say it it might be difficult Nicholas that's right perfect perfect that's very good that's very good well uh, I want to welcome you everyone to today's class I'm excited to see you all here today it's gonna be a fun time I hope uh, it would be great if you could introduce yourself uh, just say your name and how old you are that would be great and uh, we can start here on my my left side uh, your name, please. Uh, Peter. Hi, Peter. Very nice to meet you. Oh, and you're 12. Okay. Okay. Great, Peter. And your name? Your name? Linda. Hi, Linda. Uh, yeah, you're 11. Okay. Okay. Very good, Linda. Uh, and your name? Sam. Oh, nice to meet you, Sam. And you're 12 as well. Okay. Nice to meet you, Sam. And uh, your name? Mia. Oh, nice to meet you, Mia and you're 11 okay okay and then we have anna okay hi anna nice to meet you anna and you're also 11 okay great nice to meet you and the last one susan hi susan very nice to meet you and you're also 12 okay great so um we're here today and i wanted to talk um about transportation today uh, what I mean when I say transportation, can anyone give me an idea? Um, yeah, Sam? To move, yeah, that's right, that's right. When you move something or you move someone uh, from point A to point B, right? You transport something uh, from one place to another. For example, it could be you send a letter, right? You send a letter to your friend. And the post office will pick it up from where you drop off the letter and bring it to your friend. Uh, it could be in the same city, it could be in another city, it could even be in another country, right? So the letter is being transported from one point to another point. Um, now, if you want to transport yourself from one point to another, we probably wouldn't use the word transport. Um, what other word could we use if you, let's say, um, Peter, if you want to go from Shanghai to Beijing, what would you tell your friends? I'm going to mm -mm, from Shanghai to Beijing next week. Would you use the word transport? I will transport myself to Beijing. Probably not, right? What was that? Travel. That's exactly the word I was looking for we would use the word travel i will travel from shanghai to beijing next week very very good and um, so what kind of modes of transportation are there for us humans uh, that's what i want to focus today's uh, class on okay so um there, of course there are many different ways of of uh, travel or transport um it depends on if you want to go a short distance or a very long distance if you want to go to from china to europe or do you want to go from your apartment to the grocery store right so there are many different ways of, of transport or travel um and i have some here today i want to just show some pictures of some basic uh, uh, travel uh items that we could use and utilize and when i say utilize um i mean use uh it might be a difficult word utilize but uh, that's pretty much what it means i'm going to use my bike to go to the grocery store so one way of uh, transport or travel is a bike right do you guys know how to ride a bike oh you do Okay, that's good. Are oh, you also okay? Yeah, that's good. It's um, it's a good way um, 
of traveling uh, short to medium distance right yeah um, it's healthy uh, it's good for the environment right and especially now when they have these electric bikes it makes it a lot easier right you don't have to pedal so hard um, here's another example of a mode of transportation a boat um, this one looks like uh, a smaller boat that goes pretty fast right yeah now um, could you give me an example of a larger boat or ship that you could uh, stay on for a much longer period of time for example could you go by boat from let's say China to Singapore or Vietnam or any other country you probably could right yeah yeah Linda yeah you could go on a cruise ship that's right you can go on a cruise ship um, a cruise ship is extremely large it's almost like a small city right you have your room uh, on the ship you can sleep there they have restaurants they have shops they have uh, nightclubs um, so it's almost like a floating city right um, a more common uh, way of uh, transportation or travel would be this right going by car yeah yeah you, you've all uh, uh, been in the car right yeah cars are very convenient um, the benefit you know with riding a car is that you can leave whenever you want right you don't have to follow a schedule you don't have to be at a certain place to catch a bus to catch a train uh, or an airplane right you can leave whenever you want you can go exactly from where you want to go to where you want to go yeah and um, you can bring friends right you can bring friends you can bring your family with you um, but you can't you can't cross oceans with a car and it might be too far like for example if you want to go to Europe it would be tough right to, to drive a car so we have uh, this little thing right airplanes airplanes are of course the best mode of transportation if you're gonna go really really far and airplanes are also very fast right uh, it's probably the fastest uh, way of traveling or, or uh, being transported um, so it's very convenient and uh, it can take you very very long distances in a very very short period of time right um, now let's play a little game or uh, a guessing game I would uh, I guess we would call it um, could anyone think of a way to use an animal to travel or to transport yourself uh, from one point to another could you use an animal for that yeah Linda oh a, a horse yeah 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 that's a good that's a very good example uh, you can ride a horse right you can ride a horse uh, from one point to another from one city to another and for you know for thousands of years horses was the fastest way of traveling in the world right um, you only basically had two options right you either walk or you ride a horse uh, the third option of course would be uh, to have a number of horses pull a wagon right so you know for thousands of years horses was the, the main form of transportation uh, in the whole world and uh, what other animals could we use uh, for travel or transportation um, Susan elephant <laughs> yeah that's right that's right it's not so common in in uh, Europe but yeah in in southern Asia yes you can ride an elephant right that's that's true that that's a very good example yeah and um, I'll give you another example which uh, might not be so common here in China but in Sweden where I'm from and in the northern hemisphere so you know Canada Scandinavia and the northern Russia we actually use um, dogs for travel and transportation here's a picture it's a dog sled so the dogs are pulling the sled the dogs are here 
you have a number of dogs because one dog is not strong enough to pull the sled. The sled um, slides very easily on top of the snow and then you have the people sitting in the sled and then you have one person steering the sled standing behind the sled. I've done that. It's it's uh, it's a lot of fun, I can guarantee you. And the dogs, they, they love it. They love it. Um, so yes, we can use animals for transportation. Um, now, um, we've touched on some of the more common ways of transportation so far, but could someone give me an example of the absolute fastest way of traveling that we know of so far on our planet? Um, Linda, what do you think? Spaceship, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, that must, yeah, I don't, at least, I don't know of any faster way of, of traveling uh, than riding a spaceship, right? Um, I mean, we've actually, uh, not, not we, uh, but the human race has gone by spaceship to the moon, right? Um, so if you want to go to another planet, uh, I think we'll, eventually we're going to go to Mars, right? Uh, you have to have something that's extremely fast, much faster than a car, a train, or an airplane. You need something like a spaceship, right? Well, um, okay, so we touched on the basics of travel and transportation today. Uh, I want to give you short homework, and I want you to, uh, between now, today, when you leave the class, and next week when I see you again, I want you to write down... Um, all the modes of transportation that you used during the week so I'm pretty sure everyone is going to walk out of this <laughs> classroom right so um, you can start off by writing down walking because we are all gonna do some walking between now and next week and then if you ride a bike if you ride an airplane a train a subway a car um, or anything I want you to write down all the different modes of transportation that you use during the week and then we can go over it and compare it uh, next week. Uh, I wanted to uh, just end this class with saying thank you very much and it was uh, a delight to have you. Uh, it's always nice to meet new students and I think that we're gonna have a, a, a good semester going forward. Okay, great, you did a good job and I look forward to see you next week. Okay, great. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye.